morning to all of you. Now we are going to check how we are going to use a database uh, from the Firebase. In the last session, we have seen how we are going to use email and password authentication. Now we are going to check how the database is created by using a Firebase. Now first, we have to do the task is uh, click on the tools, go on the Firebase. Now over here, we have to click on the real-time database. Now save and retrieve the data. First, we have to connect with your app. Second, we have to add real-time database to your app. Now click over here so that the libraries get installed. Now these libraries are installed and you can check from the build.gradle. Now all the dependencies or all the libraries were installed over here. So these two steps are very important. After that, there is a coding for the configuration and everything. Now at least the two steps are required. Number one, that is connect your app and second, you have to download the libraries or the dependencies. Once you download the dependencies, it all, it all are available in the build gradle app. Now this file, you can open the file and you can check whether it's available or not. If it is not available, then you have to download it. Now the, the first class that we want to add that is Firebase Auth. This class already we have seen in the last program. Second is Firebase Store. Now this class is very important. By using this class, you are going to create a, uh, the database and you are, to go, you are going to create the columns and the values also. So here you can use the F store, the object. Now, here we have done the initialization for the username, password and the button. After that, we have to initialize the Firebase store. So F store is equal to Firebase Firestore dot get instance. In the similar fashion, we have to get the initialization of F auth is equal to Firebase auth dot get instance. After that, whenever your app is connected, it has some user ID. So that user ID is F auth. This is the object dot get current user dot get UID. This UID is very important. Now on the button click event, we have to write the, write the code. Now document reference is a class. Object is document reference is equal to F store. Now F store is an object of a class Firebase Firestore dot collection. Now in the collection, I want to give a name as users. Now by using user table, the values are going to be added. Dot document user ID. Now the first value is username, second value is, is password one. By using a map, I can store the values. So map type as a string and object user is equal to new hash map. So here we have to use a map. Map is again a type of hash map. Now this is the object user, user dot put f name and the particular value. Second is password and particular value. Now next we have to call that the document reference dot set. Now what the values we want set? The values of the user. Dot add on success listener. On success listener void. Now in, by implementing this interface, we have to call and write a method on success. Now on success we have to write the user has added successfully or record added. So here I can do the change that is record added. If it has some error then document reference dot set user add on failure on failure and on failure we have to write what the message on failure is that we want to display now this is very simple code whenever you are going to connect with firebase now i'm going to run the program now before that we want to do another change that is we have to do the change in the android manifest so that this file should run first so the file name is register now here we want to do the change which name which file should run first that should be added over here which file should run first should be added in this block and these are the remaining files so this entry should be there in the android manifest now i'm going to run this program
now here we don't want to write email address you can give username it can be any username and here we want to give the password or it can be any value so here it means i'm just creating only two values you can create a multiple values also so i'm giving username as four times a and password is also four times a now when you click on the add user you will get a record is added now you can check this record is added or not you can go in the firebase database over here now you click on the databases when you click on the database now this is the users now this users comes from when you open the code and when you check this now i'm going to show you okay this is users so this is the table and you can check over here as a table now this is abc i have written and password is abc i have given sorry you can just this was the previous code okay now, now this is the four times a and this is the four times a so like this you can add the value if you click on over here again one new document gets created and for that particular document the values will be added now this is like with this is uh, the cloud now by using cloud file store you can add a database so this was online database of the uh, google and the firebase database name is firebase now whenever you are going to use a firebase database of a google cloud then we have to set a rules also so when you click on the rules now this is very important allow read and write if request dot ot is not null so if so this change is very important if you if you haven't done any change over here the record is not added so keep in mind that this there should be uh, the rule should be first set once you set this rule then and then only the data is going to be added so first you set the rules click on the database click on the rules and set this rule once you set the rule set this rule a particular document is created and for that document the table gets created and then inside a table by using a json format the data is added so this, this, so this was about how we are going to use a firebase for adding data in the previous lectures we have seen how we are going to use for the authentication now here we have seen how we are going to create a database so like this you can create or you can update delete whatever the you want to do you can use a firebase database so this was the end of the lecture if you have any doubts any questions you can put on the comments thank you